Good morning, everybody. Um, I am here today to show off Miracle WM and the Miracle WM spin that is now in Fedora 41. Um, so I'll just hop right into it and I'll, I'll start with introducing the project. So Miracle itself is a tiling window manager, a lot like i3 and Sway. And in fact, it's going to support um, um, all of i3 and Sway's IPC. So you'll be able to do all those things and, and use all the tools that are available there. Um, that's always a work, that's still a work in progress rather, but it's getting better and better every day. Um, it's built on top of Mir. If I open this up right now, if, <laughs> if I, okay, if I open up this right now, um, it's built off Mir. Mir is a C++ library for writing Wayland compositors. Um, Full disclosure, I work for Canonical on Mir, so you know this is kind of near and dear to my heart. But Miracle itself is not a Canonical blessed project. It is my own thing that I'm just doing on the side for fun. Um, and the cool part about Mir is it supports a lot of um, a lot of Wayland protocols that you're used to, and you know we're supporting like like the Sway IPC. We're supporting more and more every day, so it's only getting better and better. Um, and yeah. My, my intention with Miracle is to, you know, make this whole tiling experience a lot like Sway, but also like Sway FX and Hyperland and whatnot, add a lot of eye candy, right? A lot of animations, um, a lot of, you know, you could see there's a border around this window, uh, all types of different things like that. So, so really trying to make the experience cute and usable and animated and everything. And on top of that, I also want to make sure it is really user friendly. So I have a lot of things in the roadmap that are built so that you don't have to be a power user to use this tiling window manager. I feel like a lot of tiling window managers, you sort of have to be willing to dive really deep into a configuration file to figure out. And my goal with Miracle is that you don't have to do that. You could just be your everyday person who wants to leverage the power of a tiling window manager and it'll just work for you. So that's Miracle in a nutshell. Um, like I said, it's built on Mir, so we get a lot of great things like hybrid GPU support and uh, you know all these great protocols. So check check out Mir if, if you're interested in building your own compositor. It's a, a shameless plug for Mir right there. But anyway, um, so now I'll get into the shell. So why do I never bring this up? NWG shell. Do do do. So. The shell is based off this work done by um, NWG Peter, um, and it is a great GTK-based shell. It's honestly, it's so pretty. It's very extendable. It can do a lot of great stuff. Um, we're only the experience that we have here is only scratching the surface of what this thing can do. Um, so we're super open to adding more stuff um, if there are suggestions and whatnot. Um, but you know, we have a pretty I would call it a bare bones configuration of all the things that, that this project has. So, um, you know, only going to get better with time. Um, but you know, kind of like way bar, there's the workspaces up here. You could click to go in between workspaces and whatnot. There's a little calendar applet, which is very, if I can left click, there's a little calendar applet, which is very cute. Um, I think this could also be extended to do other things, but right now it's just a bare bones calendar applet. Um, there's a little bug here that makes this go off screen a little bit, but that should be fixed in the next version of Miracle. Um, you know, there's there's brightness bars, there's sound stuff, there's a whole panel settings application so you can modify where all these panels live and, and what they look like and whatnot. And this is, just comes built in with the shell, which is very cool. Um, and you know, then there's an exit button where you do exit button -y things. And you know, that is pretty much it for the top panel. It's very cool. And like I said, there's more things we can add in here if we deem it necessary. On top of the panel, there's also the dock. The dock, you could dock applications, but the main thing is you have this little menu here that allows you to search through all your applications. So I could go Firefox, although I have that pinned to my favorites. Um, and it comes right up, right? You know, you could go language, yada, yada, and it comes right up. Um, so that's very cool. Um, if you do meta D or Windows key D, you can bring up that menu automatically and then escape to, to cancel it. So you could just have a quick shortcut to open that right up. Um, if you do meta shift E, it brings up the 
the menu to exit Miracle. So you have all your lock, your log out, your reboots and shutdowns. Um, the lock screen is just done with Sway Lock right now. Um, so it's, you know, it's the pretty, it's the pretty generic lock and then white screen. And then you type in the little circle lights up with the keys that you're putting in. So that, that's all really cool. Um, we're using Thunar. I always, I don't, I never know if I'm saying the very, I use Thunar for file management. So it's a file manager. It looks nice. Um, and we're using NMCLI for all the networking stuff right now. Um, oh, and I guess last but not least, we're using Sway BG for the background. So this background is being drawn with Sway BG, but that is nothing, nothing that intense. Cool. Um, so that is pretty much it for the shell. Like I said, we're going to add more stuff as time goes on and change things and configure things. So if you have any suggestions there, feel free. But this was a good, this was a solid foundation to base yourself on. It's pretty bare bones. So next, I guess I will jump into the tiling window features, um, which are also very cool. Um, if I click meta enter here, windows key enter, it'll bring up a new terminal. That terminal can be configured in the configuration file, which I'll talk about later. Um, you know, we support for all these crazy and wacky layouts. So you can split terminals, you can move this all around. You know, it really, you can make it your own. Um, and everything animates, and even those animations are configurable. Um, so there's a lot of different stuff you could do just with the tiling algorithm there. You can, um, you can also switch workspaces, like I said, and that animates. You can move a window to a new workspace, move a window back, all that type of stuff. You can float windows. So I just pressed, to do that, I press meta shift space bar, and then I hold meta and click a window and I could drag it around. If I want to put it back in, I could do meta shift space bar again and it gets added back to the grid. I could also pin windows. So if a window is floating, you could do meta P I believe. Oh wait, meta shift P. And now it follows me around to whatever workspace I'm on. This is cool if you're like watching a video and you want to have it in the top right corner while you do other things if you're a multitasker like that. Um, on top of that, we could do things like full screen windows right there. I just clicked meta F and you could full screen the window. There's a bug where the full screen window shows below the shell elements, but I am in the process of fixing that right now. Um, and yeah, like I said, um, we have a full configuration file for all this stuff. So if I go over here and open up Emacs and I go to miracle wind.yaml, all this is config driven, so you see the terminals defined in the configuration. And anything, pretty much my, my idea with this is nothing is really hard coded, everything is controlled by the configuration. So you should be able to change anything, even like the animations and whatnot. Um, um, on top of this, we have Miracle Message. So Miracle Message is just a fork of Sway Message and it allows you to interact with the IPC. So, I'll just show you a quick example, but we could do miracle message command move down or, or something. And this guy moves down. So all of that is on its way to working. Like I said, there's a lot more to implement there, but it, I have proven out the concept that it is working. And in the next version, which should be coming out in the next two weeks, most of it is working. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the window management aspect of this. The final thing that I want to touch on here is the roadmap. So I have a lot of I have a lot of ideas for this thing. Um, my cat is now screaming. I have a lot of ideas for this thing. Uh, why are you screaming? I have a lot of ideas for this thing, um, and they tend to take longer than I, you know, consider beforehand when I'm planning them. So I have all this support coming for 0.4. This is what I'm working on right now. That September 30th date is a lie. It should be coming at the end of November. And then for the official release, I have a ton of weird and wacky ideas, and hopefully some of them get in, and maybe even more than that get in, um, just as I de as we deem appropriate. Um, this should be coming sometime at the beginning of next year, although this is going to be the hard part, right? Because I want this thing to be completely bug-free, right? It is technically alpha software right now. In this 1.0 release, I want it to be completely bug-free and really, really a great experience. So this is going to be the hard part. And this might, this could even take us into spring in the in the northern hemisphere here. So we'll see how that goes. 
and that is pretty much it for Miracle. Um, again, you could just go, you could go download it from the Spins page, Miracle WM, um, and you could check us out on GitHub. Um, check us out at miraclewim.org, and yeah, go install it. And I would be very grateful if you tried it out, filed bugs if you find them, and even fix bugs. That'd be even, even, gr even, even really amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs>